you know, like, if, there's, if they're making any changes, you're not consulted about it. There's no reason given why they're doing it, you just do it. You're just told what to do. It doesn't matter what you say, they don't want to listen to us. I mean, we're in, what, 1994 now, we should be more update on a lot of things, but we're, we're not, we seem to be slipping back. That office they have now built up, I mean, that's overlooking the workers. I mean, to me, we seem to be going back to the old workers' days. My name is Sid Johnson and I help companies improve their productivity for a living using the talent of the people they employ. And here I am at Lambert Howarth in the Rossendale Valley in Lancashire. This represents part of what is left of our shoe manufacturing industry. This, this place employs 300 people. That is a major, major player. And really what I see in this particular location in front of us is, is an opportunity to stop the rot and I think we have a managing director here who truly wants to do that. You know, I've only been with the company two weeks. You don't need me to come in and tell you that it's been a pretty bloody couple of years for the company. You know, we've shed a lot of people. I think if I look at it from Brian and Gary's point of view, and I mean, they've been with the company less than a year. I mean, they've had a pretty dirty job to do for the last 12 months. Where I've appeared on the scene from is that I've been brought in to start trying to build the business back up again. I mean, I come from sales. There's been a lot of people lost their jobs, and given that if this is part of a community, those people are, in many cases, family, friends of people who are here as well. So when people get used to the idea of change being changed for the worst, it's, they're immediately suspicious when you use that word change. Is it really going to be for the better? I mean, you may feel it's just the question you've been pulled in for a couple of days' workshop. You know, it'll all be a bit of fun and then it's all back to normal afterwards. That, that isn't what we're about to embark on. This is the start, I think, of a new journey where we can say, all right, let's start really all pulling together. We're going to give you to Sid for the next two days and we want to come back and, in Sid's words, be gobsmacked. Yeah. Um, so, make it a success. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so go for it. Shall we disappear now? Yes, you can get rid of us. <laughs> you, off, you can get on with the real work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let me ask a question before we start. I asked your managers to give me the people I call the experts, yes? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's true, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, I always love asking you folk this question when we start. You'll be different tomorrow, but I know what you are, you... No. We used to describe experts as smart asses with offices. Have you ever had any of those? Yeah. Do you remember those guys? They knew nothing about what we were doing. They used to come down and try to tell us to do the job, and they hadn't a clue what we were doing. I don't know if you've ever had that expression here. The success of this whole two days is going to... The reasons we call Sid in, word. I mean, apart from and the fact that quite clearly we needed to affect a process of change in people's attitudes and the way in which, if you like, management and the shop floor work together, more, at a more practical level, one of the things that I found really was that you've got a factory here that's operating along very, very traditional lines, long rows of machinists. You really could almost take the thing back in time and very, very little would have changed. And one of the things that Sid has brought is an introduction to, to cellular working, where people work it's together as teams. teams. Yes, where there's a whole range of operations in one cell, and then either later this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to go out in your factory, when I say we, well, you're going to go out in your factory, and you're going to completely redesign it. And whatever you design will be built, yes? So the managers now are here to support us as the experts, aren't they? Is that how it's been in the past? No. no. I was just going to say, have you convinced them then? In two no, days, have you convinced them? No, no Jean, I can't. I mean, that's well, why. That's I... it. When you've gone, you never will. When you turn your back, back. No, no, of course. I'm, but I'm going to say, no, 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 again, you really right, know. No, 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 but again, again, though, the point you must understand, I never had a chance of convincing them. But guess who's going to convince them for me? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can't just transform us into future. I can leave the past behind. We can't change our way of thinking overnight, can we? No. Any more than like management. Can't. You can't believe trust till it's been earned, and so we've yeah, we've told them. Yeah, but we've told them, and, it, and it's true, isn't yeah. it? That there were they out there, off past experience and years of it, 
is hard to shift yeah. when you're frightened of your wages because you've got to live, haven't you? It's going to take a long time for people yeah, to change. Is, a hell of a long time. I mean, it can't be done overnight, so nobody likes change anyway, do they? The only problem I've got to start with is how many of you are believing what I'm saying. I say, oh, not another load of management bullshit here. Hands up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I have great sympathy with that point of view, honestly. I mean, I've seen workforces screwed in so many different ways, yes, that this could be an even cleverer one than ever before, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, everybody in the room just has that feeling. No, of course. At the end of the day, there'll be another way to knock your wages yeah. down. All I know is as we generate more wealth, yes? Yeah, you're going to affect our wages, though, aren't you? If you, if you get us away from mm. piecework, then obviously you're going to affect our wages. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I have got um, him to guarantee that anyone coming from piecework to work in the cell while we get it running will absolutely have their earnings guaranteed. So these on what are on, on the pittance now? Well, you can stand there. No, 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 no. Well, I'm getting to the point now. I need those that want to be on this seminar to stay with me, and those that don't to leave. Is that fair? No, but if you're guaranteed the financial incentive, you're going to make it. When, it, when he sort of said, if you're not going to kind of play along, we'll end it now. It were a bit. I felt a bit threatened again. Like we usually get off management. Do it or forget it, will we? Yeah. Somebody talks to us like that, Anne, I just back up because that's why we're like we are now, because that's how they treat us. So, yeah, I sort of sat there quiet because I was just taken aback that he'd say it because that's what we're trying to get away from. And had it been our management, like Jean said, we'd have just walked out. I think what we're seeing here is sort of 15 years of abuse and neglect. Not always done maliciously, but the end result's been the same. This basic lack of trust. So now when I'm speaking to the, the girls, I don't take this personally, but they don't believe a word I'm saying. Now, you're right, money is important, but I'm trying to show you the technique that wins. Yes? Ah. <laughs> well, I don't, but I, I, I think we, we need to resolve one or two little points now. There's this question of um, if we can address the issue directly. This question that in the past it would appear we've been involved in, in other things called sales and run initiatives, right. and, and financially, the majority of the time when we've come out, we've been shit on. I think that was a very accurate description. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Well, the first thing to say is that there's not much point doing this if all we're going to do is try and shit on you, because I would hope that what Sid's been through has said this is about working together and working as a team. I mean, what we've said is that when we put people on sales, and this is what this piece of paper says, when we put people in sales, they'll go on their average earnings, so that, if you like, freezes the current situation. So we're definitely sure that people are not working out, losing out on that. Yeah. The thing we've just done with Barry uh, really has been quite a major leap forward. You can almost see some of the relief, still some hesitation, but no one can at least dispute he's prepared to put his words on paper now. And I'm hoping that'll be a major breakthrough. What's spell with bread? What's treat? It's well there, go along with We're prepared to have a do with it, but well there. Cos I think they won't. They'll do it while you're here. Yeah. They'll afterwards. do it while Fred's here, whatever he's called. Sid. 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 <laughs> Fred. Sid we'll call me Heather. <laughs> no, if they're prepared to have a do with it and play fair wheels, they've got to give and take, not all take. Treat them Otherwise, right. We treat yeah. them right. Simple we as that. We treat them like dirt because they treat us like dirt. That's all we've been used to. As Anna said, we're just a number, aren't we? Yeah, we made progress. It's interesting you look around a room of 20 people and what you see is you know, 15 people nodding and a few very hard set faces. Of course, what may hell happen in the progress is that we may not be able to carry everybody with us. And that's part of the message that we've heard from Sid all along is that, you know, you, you sort of samurai code, you know, you support the weak, you're equal to the strong and you kill the, kill the villains. So, but, you know, we're not at the stage of killing any villains yet. We're going to work at this. It's a bit humdrum going there every day. You've got to have some outlet, haven't you? Something you enjoy. Like I said, I'm learning to play the keyboard, trying to learn myself, play the piano. And I play mainly Elvis Presley songs, the slow ones. It's something I've always wanted to do. I don't know whether I will master it, I don't know. I'll keep trying. If I have to go for lessons, I will. 
year was over her wedding, anniversary in October. We thought it'd be nice to go Graceland's. It's something we've both always wanted to do, so who knows? Might get there yet. They give me a rise at work. No, because we all relax on that when we go out, don't we? And have a laugh. Mm. But you have a laugh in work, but when you've had a couple of beers, just, mm. just make total fools of yourself. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, go out, get drunk, get an Indian. Come home and throw up. Oh, no. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> it's not a good night if you haven't thrown up. <laughs> oh, I'd rather keep me and do what I've paid for personally. To go to I went to Japan the first time seven years ago. Why do I have to go to the other side of the world to realise that successful organisations treat the workforce as the most important thing they have, but not in some bullshitty sense? You know what I mean? Like saying nice words, genuinely treat those people as the very heart and soul of the business. This whole thing about this Taoist philosophy, the, the old Chinese proverb is when the, the true leader's job is finished, the people say we did it ourselves. So this first hour, I must let them own the process so their ownership establishes. If I go out there, they will immediately start asking me questions and that means I start taking the process of them. But I actually rob them of ownership of the process, so I just keep out of the way. Very hard on the old ego doing that, of course. It goes back to the boundaries, there. It's a double finger. Well, where does it go from here? Yeah, it does it. Yeah. Oh, it goes that way. What? It goes back round there, doesn't it? No. It goes up there to Joe in the truck. <laughs> well, the teams are out on the uh, shop floor now, what we call walking the job. And walking the job involves literally going out onto the factory floor and step by step going on the journey the product passes through from raw material to being a finished piece. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Right, well we're following the show round, all operations and seeing how long it takes for it to get actually out of the factory. And it's taken hell of a long while. <laughs> Well, this, this whole concept of people must personally experience it, this is this Zen idea. Unless you've personally experienced something, you can't possibly understand it. This is this great terror of the intellect. We, we sit in offices theorising things. You only have to walk out onto the shop floor and look at what's happening around you, and you suddenly realise there's some very, very serious issues here. Oh, so it's transported, it's stored and delayed yet again. <laughs> Uh, Examined, isn't it? Then taking up there and doing up there, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Nah, that's yeah. transport again, then. Yeah. Unbelievable. It is, but they don't pay. It's unbelievable. Bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is bad. It is. And work just sat there, isn't it? That's where half yeah. the money's going, then, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Stored and delayed. That's why yeah. we can't have risers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's, when you see it on paper, it's right, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we have opinions of this anyway, what, what we see in our room, don't we? Yeah. We don't see this side of it. Yeah. And we're always shouting off up there, well, they should do this, they shouldn't do that. That's in our department, but we haven't seen all this, have we? No, no. We haven't realised that all this has gone on. No. Well, we've got up onto this one, we're near, well, we've finished it nearly, haven't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 61. So it's from here into the next room, yeah. eh? Yeah. <laughs> and I must admit, there's more transport on here than there is in Rosendale Valley. Yeah, there is, it's transport. ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Transport and storage. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. I think we've got over the inertia that existed. And I think now the people are suddenly realising uh, they really know what's going on out there. People thought they were just workers, just hands, which I've had this difficulty with so far. Suddenly realise that they can think and they can innovate. And all of a sudden they realise that, hey, you know, we can change things around here. And find it comfortable, uh, an average of what she's done, and work it out, 
kind of a nice comfortable pace to work at. Five point three. Embroidered. Right, where do we go to from embroidery? Basically what we're doing now, we've collected all the information about the existing situation. Once we've made that all visible, as you can see on the wall over there, then the next stage will be to design the cell. And they'll do that in about half an hour when we get going. So by half past one we'll be out in the shop building. We'll have two cells running this afternoon, no question about that. Yeah, but you're not going to have a lot of room between these two, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around which way? Long ways. Like that? Yeah, that's what I mean. Need in the hell. But you want it first in that way, then, when you're all in the middle, and you can just pass it. Like that. Or else not. Put, Put that one like that, and that one like that. So what I need to do, if we come out in about half an hour, then we'll build both cells. So we want sort of five or six very strong people who can do some machine lifting. And I'll tell them the, the cavalry will be arriving at 2.30, and then if you'll come in, then we'll come back and build the cells. I'm just looking for the managers. 2.30 on the shop floor, um, I will go find them. Door of our lives, waiting. Where are they now, Gary and Barry? Well, this is how we deal. Oh, we're busy, isn't it? Yeah. Leave everything my last minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Wasting time. Yeah. yeah. Wasting time. It's all time wasting. Yeah. We're all already in the management. That's just what it's like. Waste, the wasting time all the time, the management here. Could you just tell my Brian for me, please? Yeah. Have you seen him? Here we are, ladies. I've I brought some gentlemen, some labourers, we just recruited. <laughs> I promise you, here they are, they're just coming. I guys have all had a good sleep. No, no, absolutely. Be <laughs> they've, been on, you know, they've been on Bob Real pills and all sorts of yeah. stuff. What we've said is that Barry and myself, Brian, with Tommy, we are yeah. quite willing now for the girls yes. to manage us yes. on this one. Okay. Down to the buddy. Down to the buddy. Down to the buddy. The wrong wheels to put under the machine, and I kept saying, Go for the small wheels. Because we've seen Tommy loads of time go for small wheels to put under, you know. It's pretty cool, but he didn't even know which side of the machine to put it on. Wow. Oh, that was fun watching that. <laughs> and I laugh watching him. Spaghetti. I like it. Watch my lip. <laughs> But he managed to direct to sweating like a pig. Oh, no, no, I, I personally appreciate it. No, no, no. You're sending signals like a million memos won't come there, yeah? Say so. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it actually working now, because what we've seen so far is the theory. Now comes the practice. That's the real proof. Here we go, team. The energy this thing releases in it. Well, this is the first one coming out already. This is the point of the system. I was an industrial engineer for 10 years <laughs> and I never ever thought of going at it like this. Yeah. The main thing is the elimination of all the old picking up, carrying, yeah. pitching, finding, and all yeah. that jazz. Hmm? Oh, again, all this needs tidying up, getting things at the right level. And yeah. Out of it, what you put in, yeah, that's so well. well, not just but just look what you've achieved, though. Hazel, this is she's an doing it, absolutely she'll do it. Well, you know, these two days at first, we were thinking, oh, yeah, you know, a lot of 
rubbish, you know. Everyone did, we were all like negative people around here, but now we've been out and done it, you know, we're pretty chuffed about it. I feel like you've achieved something anyhow, you know. Bit of something. Yeah, yeah proud of me like a cell. Yeah. All one shoe. This all is just one, one shoe. One shoe. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. And it took it took three weeks to make this shoe. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got it down to four to five seconds to make this shoe. Yeah. It took it actually took them twenty nine minutes to do a dozen, and we can do it in nine minutes. Yeah. And this is the distance we walked. This morning, and this is how, what we do now. That's why he was sweating. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we've lost a storm. When you look at all the measures and look what they've actually done by putting it in the cell, how, how much less distance the material's travelling, how much quicker it's doing, it's absolutely staggering, really. Because I wouldn't have said wandering around this shop before that it looks as though things were going slowly. It's, it looks a quick shop. You've got to try, haven't you? Give it your best shot, don't you? Kind of met him halfway then, haven't we? We haven't said that we're not doing it. Try it. Should get better and better. I don't see why not. Did, but, but did you think that you could have done it before and after? Did yeah. you think that? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Mixed feelings about the management. I think it's what they saw, I think they appear to me to be genuinely impressed, but can they genuinely come to terms with the fact that when it comes to improvement at this detailed level, they are incompetent? Now that's extremely difficult to come to terms with. The fact that you're shown that your own shop floor experts, as I call them, can do things you couldn't think of doing in a million years. But there's always that worrying feel that, shall we say, we've almost undermined their position. They don't take a lot of building these cells. And so, yeah, I'm hoping we'll be three, four, possibly half a dozen cells by the time we turn in. The managers couldn't turn this off, or if they did, we'll come back to a wasteland, that's for sure. Good morning. <laughs> How's it going, ladies? Yes? Hey, I've been hearing wonderful things. Have you seen? Did you think where you started from? I think the fact that you're making progress is, is news indeed. When I left last time, I wasn't sure, honestly. Putting the cells in, we've seen a tremendous improvement in productivity, particularly on our blizzard boot uh, line, where we're producing about 25% more with slightly less people, and the other teams are showing some gains as well. Uh, we've also quickened up our response time, so we're really picking up extra business now through being able to deliver quicker. Well, you've no time waste. You've no getting up to get another bar. Uh, there's been a lot of time waste the other system, but now, yeah, yeah, atmosphere is better and everything. The girls they designed and built this themselves. But this is almost a better flowing cell than the one we did on the workshop. Effectively minutes, which what used to effectively take weeks before. But it's pouring down that line, and it could be any design the customer requires, of course. So now the customer can have what he wants, when he wants it, in the quantity he wants. Can't get that from China. <laughs> and that's what this game is all about. <laughs> Hey, are these people heroes or are these people heroes? Wonderful. Are you still going to Turkey? Oh, yeah, I'm on Morris. You're more friendly. You can have a laugh and a joke. Like, one, try, one team throws verbal to another team and then they'll throw it verbal back. It's just fun all the time. We're really at a very early stage is where it's only a matter of a couple of months down the track. We've still only got, you know, less than half the people on teams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're still working on building up that relationship and that trust. We're talking more. I understand more why they're there. Before I weren't, well, I just weren't really interested before. We understand their job. I wonder why we needed them at one time, but now they've explained why. Of course we do. We can talk to him, have a laugh more. You can talk to Gary, have a laugh with him now. As soon as you mention one of them, they all clam up and run. <laughs> hey, they do, no, it's true. They clam up and they run. 
said, the feeling in the room is the uh, pay structure will make or break. Oh no, I agree with you, absolutely. Or make or break these absolutely. teams, absolutely. you know. The sooner we, well, I mean, why you going a bit narc, didn't you, when we mentioned one there? No, I wasn't narc. No, you, you were just, said, I didn't well, like that, I we didn't like that. I couldn't do anything about it, and I only get narc no, when I'm being shown problems I can't solve. Are you doing things on the payment system? The payment system, I suppose, is, is the big issue oh, that we've got to address. At absolutely. the moment, we've just uh, we said we need a bit of breathing space. We need to prove that the system works. And the next yeah. thing we've got to do is to is to start putting in some new payment systems oh, because yeah. the ones we've got here really are archaic. I feel a lot better than I did, but I, I've been involved in it, really involved in it. So like the weeks have flown by. I think she's a lot more settled and a lot happier. She's not as cranky when she comes home from work now. You know, she's a lot happier. I mean, you can't shut her up when she comes home now. I mean, it made you really miserable. I don't know what it did with her because I've been married to her long enough anyway. So I don't know what I'm talking about. And I've seen change. But I've seen change for it better now. And I hope it is for it better. Yeah, I hope as well.